The largest outbreak of Ebola in history continues to grow larger. And today, a Canadian laboratory is preparing to send an experimental vaccine to some of the hardest-hit regions. But questions remain about who will get access to the limited quantities of the drug. Cameron McIntosh has that story. Level 4 containment, the highest possible. This federal lab in the heart of Winnipeg is the only place in Canada safe enough to handle Ebola. Here, government scientists have developed a promising but unproven vaccine. This is a, a very serious disease. This has uh, taken the lives of many, many people. So the government says it will give that vaccine to global health officials to use as they see fit. This is a decision that will be made by experts and not politicians. Somewhere between 800 and 1,000 doses in all. Response to an extraordinary decision by the World Health Organization, WHO, yesterday. That it would be more ethical to try something unproven than not at all. There was unanimous agreement among the experts. The Canadian vaccine has never gone to clinical trial, but has shown promise for both prevention and treatment in animals. The precise mechanism that is, uh, that is responsible for this uh, is not fully understood. We're still looking into it. But there really are no guarantees. Just today, a funeral for a Spanish priest who died despite being treated by a different experimental drug, also partially developed in Winnipeg. Still, word today that Guinea, where the outbreak is believed to have started, will ask for the Canadian vaccine. With so few doses available, this expert says the WHO has stark choices. Not everybody, whether it's healthcare workers or certainly not the, the population that would be considered at risk, is going to be able to get this vaccine. Those decisions will take at least another week, says the WHO. Because there's so many questions and because they're so difficult to answer, the panel of experts decided that they need to meet again to look at all these questions. While the Canadian government won't, Canadian health experts will likely play a role in that. Even if it's successful, a vaccine alone won't stop the virus. So the call is out for more people, more equipment. Canada will be sending a mobile diagnosis lab later this week. The real tools that, that have been proven is to be on the ground and to do rapid diagnostic, to isolate and to break the chain of transmission. So far, Canada has spent about $5 million doing that. As for that vaccine, it's still here in this lab in Winnipeg, where it will stay until those decisions are made on who gets it. Wendy? Thanks so much, Cameron. Cameron McIntosh in Winnipeg.